to my live stream. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, hope it's a beautiful day where you are. It sure is here in Asheville, North Carolina. I'd like to just uh, introduce you to my digital assistant, concierge, Barbie Angel. It's Angel with two L's, and Barbie is a fantastic poet and performance artist in her own right. You might want to check her out at barbieangel.com or check her out on YouTube. And, um, ordinarily, Barbie would be dropping URLs into the chat window, but there's some problem, apparently, that YouTube won't let anybody else but me do that. So I have dropped in various tip jars um, at the very beginning of the chat session today, and if you would like to contribute something, I would really appreciate that. There's no ticket price today, so I'm leaving it up to everybody to donate whatever it is that they're comfortable with, and there are several um, different ways to do that, and all you have to do is go to the beginning of the tip jar. So I'll start with a new song. I poked out his eyes That's how I got him to see To get him to hear I screamed in his ear And I gave him the third degree I sharply berated him I told him I hated him I wasn't very kind I shouted and cussed Until I won his trust And that's how I changed his mind I shunned him, ignored him I wouldn't look toward him I only would give him my back I accused him of lies I would not compromise I erased him after the fact I was abrupt I would often interrupt and We were volatile when combined And in stating my case I blew up in his face And that's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind that's how I changed his mind Blamed him, shamed him, insulted and inflamed him That's how I changed his mind Now this man was an ass I was gonna let him pass Let him take a wide berth of me But I was right and he was wrong Like I was telling him all along Trying to just get him to see But he's a this and I'm a that So we couldn't have a chat Of the friendly, civilized kind Round after round I just ground him down That's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind Blamed him, shamed him Insulted and inflamed him that's how I changed his mind So I stomped on his toes And I punched him in the nose I was using irony So sure of the truth I knocked out his tooth And I kicked him twice in the knee I went over his heart With a poisonous dart and it should have seen me unwind Being overly cruel and with ridicule That's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind Blamed him, shamed him, insulted and inflamed him That's how I changed his mind Called him a fool, challenged him to a duel. I threw my white glove in his face. Twenty paces and I shot, and I must have hit the spot. Anyway, that's how I pleaded my case. Well, I won in the end after making him bend, and after all, the papers were signed. In the end, I won. Yeah, that's how it was done. Well, that's how I changed his mind. That's how I changed his mind That's how I changed his mind 
claimed him, I shamed him, insulted and inflamed him. That's how I changed his mind. Yeah, I blamed him, shamed him, I might have even maimed him. That's how I changed his mind. 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 I think I got a text from Barbie, so I'm going to just take a quick look here, make sure there's not a problem. Oh, Barbie says that the microphone is a little bit low, so I'm just going to turn that up a tiny bit. Hope it makes a difference. I'll try to lean in a little bit when I talk, and you hopefully can hear me better. Um, there's a kind of a funny story behind this next song. Um, I had uh, been asked to send the CD with this song on it to a radio station in Texas to help promote a show I was doing a couple years ago. And the person at the radio station whose job it is to listen to incoming CDs, make sure they're suitable for airplay on that station, has a habit of listening to the first and the third tracks on every CD. And this song is track number three on my Them and Us album. And he heard this song, and he decided it was autobiographical. And because of that, he did not want this song played on the station. But even worse, he would not allow any songs from the entire album to be played on their station. And so I got no publicity for that show, and hardly anybody showed up naturally. But I am absolutely sure <coughs> that none of you are going to mistake this for being autobiographical. So it's called Couldn't Do What Daddy Done. Vandalizing synagogues We're the patriotic sons With our semi-automatic guns Prepping for a civil war To make things like they was before Me and my supremacist clan This is how we take our stand Underneath a Nazi flag Marching right up the main drag Past the church, past the school Where we teach the golden rule Where the children play outside when we go by they run and hide the secret handshake makes you kin at the door it gets you in it's how we tell a friend from foe it's something only we would know Stir each other's thirst for blood Getting drunker by the hour Mixing things that all taste sour Till we can't control the rage Any excuse to open the cage We cannot stay inside the house The beast is foaming at the mouth Me and my supremacist dad One time beat a foreigner bad He was somewhere he shouldn't have been He shouldn't have been color skin and after daddy kicked his ass and left him lying in the grass I got some of my own licks and he was somewhere he shouldn't have been the secret handshake makes you kin at the door it gets you it's how we tell a friend from foe it's something only we would know
until the circle was complete. There was nowhere that he could run. But I couldn't do what my daddy done. Not in front of my own son. Couldn't do what daddy done. The secret handshake makes you kin. That door it gets you in. How we tell a friend from foe It's something only we would know A secret handshake makes you kin At the door it gets you in It's how we tell a friend from foe It's something only we would know That was autobiographical. Um, gonna move on to baseball. So nice that baseball season is back. I'm sacrificing a game right now to be here playing for you. Of course, it wasn't a very good game. When I shut it off, my team was losing nine to five. But it's good to have baseball back. This is a song about a very unusual incident that took place in 1925 in, uh, in Wichita, Kansas. There was a baseball game between an all-black team called the Monrovians and a team made up of Ku Klux Klan members. This is called the Monrovians versus the Klan. No place for a lady on a Sunday afternoon. 1925 on the 21st of June. It was 102 degrees and even hotter in the stands. A day the all black Monrovians beat the Ku Klux Klan. No strangleholds, no razors. Whips were allowed. They put a couple extra policemen in the crowd. Other violent instruments of argument were banned. The day the all black Monrovians beat the Ku Klux Klan. The only baseball would be on tap at Island Park that day. In the beacon on the morning they would play They were trying to head off trouble Before the game began The day the all black and Monrovians Beat the Ku Klux Klan Now the Klan was not too popular In Kansas at the time They'd already been exposed for the racketeering crimes And in Wichita It didn't seem to have a lot of fans But they, the all Black Monrovians Beat the Ku Klux Klan The umps were Irish Catholic And they favored neither side Out there on the field The rules were evenly applied was a very good game of baseball, said the newspaper man. The day the all black Monrovians beat the Ku Klux Klan. Well, it was a seesaw battle, a pitcher's duel through four. The Monrovians would break it open, ten to eight the score. Drive off in jalopies, not those nice sedans. The day the all black Monrovians beat the Ku Klux Klan. The day the all black Monrovians beat the Ku Klux Klan. A 
That's a true story. Here is another true story. This is for all you Philadelphians out there. This is the story that gave Philadelphia sports fans their reputation. million other people who all claimed to have been at that game. I was, but I truly was. My dad had season tickets to the Eagles when I was a little kid, and I remember that very vividly. I'm sure the four and a half million other people do too, but I truly was there. I want to give a special shout out right now to all my Nova Scotia friends. Certain friends that live in Maine, like Larry and Judy. Um, there's a very special folk festival up there that would have been happening this weekend. And we're all very sad it's not happening, like every other festival this summer. But I'm talking about the Stan Rogers Folk Festival in Cancel, Nova Scotia. And to any of my friends up that way, I love you, I miss you. This song is for you. It's about one of your locals who has. Uh, unfortunately since passed away, but he was quite a character. His name was Arthur Christie. And I first met Arthur because several years ago I was on stage at the Stan Rogers Folk Festival and I looked out into that audience and there was a man blowing kisses at me. Standing there among several thousand people. And I just didn't know what to make of that moment, but after a few minutes I realized this man had a developmental disability. And at that point, I started to blow kisses back to him at the end of every song when my hands were free. And this became a regular thing throughout the entire 40 minute set. And I knew I was gonna write this song as soon as I got home, which I did. And when I sent it up to the folks that run the festival so they could hear it, they decided to bring me back the next year. 
so that everybody in the community could hear the song, but they did not tell me that they had secretly arranged with the home Arthur lived in to have him brought back to the festival. And so there I was that next year on the, on the stage, and I got around to singing this song, and I got a couple verses into it, and all of a sudden they brought Arthur out onto the stage behind me to blow kisses at the audience while I finished the song. And there's a fantastic video on YouTube of this because a television crew from Halifax was filming this, and they broadcast it Monday morning on the Breakfast News television program on CATV. And if you want to see it, you can. Just Google or just search for The Man Who Blew Kisses. So for all my Nova Scotia friends, this is for you. A man who blew kisses stood out in the crowd He wasn't so tall, he wasn't loud I could not tell you how he was dressed But of everyone there, I remember him best simple and free. He never considered how people might see him. He walked on the water, swam through the air, with no trepidation, without a care. The man who blew kisses, he lives in a home. He isn't allowed to go out on his own. He loves everybody and he lets them all know The man who blew kisses, he blew them at me it Tickled my heart and I buckled my knee Made my voice crack and I righted all wrongs I blew kisses back at the end of the songs Jealousy and nothing of rage, nothing of prejudice and nothing of shame. He had never been broken, he had never been tamed. The man who blew kisses, he misses some things, but he was catching my drift. He had air in his wings, his head was a rocking, he was clapping his hands. He was stomping his feet and he was doing a dance. So the man who blew kisses eats tulips for lunch. Probably rainbows, but that's just a hunch. Sunshine and pixie dust mixed in his punch. Daisies for breakfast, he picks by the bunch. blow them at you. He blows them at anyone, no matter who. So I thought to myself, in the middle of all this, that the song I was singing, it was but a kiss. Um, I just want to mention a, a few things again. Um, you may not have your chat window open, but that is where, um, at the very beginning of the chat window, I have dropped a bunch of the URLs, a bunch of the links to the various tip jars like PayPal and Venmo and Cash App, etc. Um, and so because today's show has no admission charge, I'm leaving it up to everybody to donate whatever they're comfortable with. Also, my recordings are available, and there's information about that. You can get the actual CDs from chuckbrodsky.com. You can get the um, digital downloads from bandcamp.com, and the URL is at the very beginning of the chat window. Um, also, I would like to um, encourage you to become my patron. 
I have a site at patreon.com. And that information as well is at the beginning of the chat window. And that, with Patreon, it's a way of supporting me on a monthly basis. It can be for as little as a dollar a month or $10 a month or $20 a month, whatever you're comfortable with. Up and uh, the, the numbers are unlimited. Um, but it's a way for me to be able to count on a certain amount of income these days when I, I really don't have any other than these live streams and uh, whatever I can cobble together. So speaking of cobbling together income opportunities, um, I'm available for private Zoom concerts. I'm available for private guitar lessons over Zoom, and I'm available for songwriting lessons or critique sessions over Zoom. But I really would love you to check out my Patreon page because the whole premise behind Patreon is that you become patrons and I give you access to things that other people don't have access to, such as rough drafts of songs or um, brand new videos, uh, brand new recordings, things that I won't release elsewhere f for another week or two, but you would get um, exclusive access to it immediately. There'll be things I won't share at all elsewhere that I'll share with my patrons. Cool stories, photos. So check it out. Um, the, the URL is at the beginning of the chat window again. <laughs> had a lot of requests for this next song. So, I won't say I hope you enjoy it. It wasn't very enjoyable to have to write it, but it's an important song, I think, to sing today. and the 
the dome The Super Bowl still happens Just like it did in Rome Their ads appear on everything Like the flags of an occupier Not a single shot was fired Not a single shot Not many people saw it And the rest they won't believe They look at you like you're crazy like it's you who's been deceived Well, they're bullying the angels For not singing with the choir Not a single shot was fired Not a single shot was fired Not a single shot was fired Not a single Here's a new song for you. Now half the people are looking to rumble And the other half are spoiling for a fight The logic that they're using is all jumbled it's facts when you know you're right Half the people nowadays are bonkers And the other half of all gone insane Everybody everywhere looks angry They didn't need to blame somebody for their pain Now half the news you get today is phony And the other get today is fake but what's real is the independent journalist who gets tortured but refuses to break half the people have lost their marbles and the other half have all lost their minds on top of that we've become so heartless underneath it all we must have lost our spines half the people are just plain cuckoo and the other half are just plain looney tunes bite your tongue you can't talk sense to any of them well, they hate you when you burst their balloons now half the people have gone crazy and the other half of all gone mad Well I couldn't make a fortune selling bridges If I hadn't sold the last one that I had Half the people have no idea And the other half they haven't got a clue They'll believe anything anyone will tell them be proven to be true well, Half the people are just plain cuckoo And the other half are just plain looney tunes Bite your tongue, you can't talk sense to any of them But they hate you when you burst their balloons Now half the people are talking rubbish And the other all just talking crap You've got to be careful And remind yourself Not to take the bait Step into the trap Cause half the people nowadays Are bonkers And the other half of all Gone insane Everybody everywhere Looks angry well, They need to blame some for their pain Half the people are just plain cuckoo In the other half are just plain looney tunes Bite your tongue, you can't talk sense to any of them They hate you when you burst their balloons They hate you when you burst Funny, 
I keep wanting to say thank you at the end of every song. I did a live show last night, an actual live show for real living people, socially distanced, of course, about an hour and a half from here in South Carolina, outdoors. A lot of fun. Um, uh, it was very, it was f f weird. I mean, wonderful, but weird because I've grown so accustomed to singing to you through a camera lens that I had to ask everybody there to please do their best camera lens impersonations so I would feel comfortable. <laughs> What's next on the list? Here we go. This song is for anybody that plays the violin or the fiddle. Drinking their cognacs, 
their liqueurs, they crane their necks, strain their ears. I don't know where they found the tears. Maybe some place back in Berlin. Sometimes I slept smaller in. Sometimes I slept some smaller in. Slip some molar in. That was called Warsaw in May. I've gotten several requests for this next song as well. There's a little story behind it. In the west part of County Cork in Ireland, a town called Clonakilty. And in Clonakilty, there's a folk music club called Dabaras. Great venue. I've played it a number of times through the years. But on one particular night, many years ago, a guy named Johnny came up to me at the end of the show, asked if I had a few minutes to sit down and talk. And I said, sure. And he told me, the story of what had happened earlier that day for him and asked me if I could write a song for him about it. And then I told him I couldn't promise that, but I'd certainly hear him out. And uh, if I was moved, if a song came, I'd give it my best effort. And that's exactly what happened with this song. Claire and Johnny was a direct result. Uh, I did not change the names. I probably should have because I came back to DeBarra's a year later, and I played this song, and everybody in the venue knew exactly which Claire and which Johnny the song was about. Probably not the best thing. <coughs> but the names are what they are. got so low down He needed cheering up He had to get out of the house So he headed for the pub And that's where we got to talking We had a pint 
chapter two. And he asked if I might write a song about it. So let's see what I could do. Claire, she loves Johnny. Johnny, he loves Claire. Even with her cussing at him Lord, how she could swear Even with her throwing things Some, they really hurt Even when she'd speak Those unspeakable words Most recent CD is called Them and Us, and it was actually the eighth most played CD in all of folk music radio for uh, 2018. And this song is the title track of it. I've been really fortunate through the years. I've had some really fantastic musicians play with me on my records. Um, my earlier records, I had uh, Christian Bush, if you're familiar with the band Sugarland, the country music band. Christian Bush produced uh, three or four of my first albums. And his brother Brandon, great keyboard player and drummer, is on the, those albums. Um, some other great players, David Hamburger on slide guitar, dobro. Gina Forsyth on fiddle. And some of my more recent records, uh, I made them in Nova Scotia with J.P. Cormier. And between us, we played all the tracks. J.P.'s just a master of every stringed instrument imaginable. He has dedicated solo albums, instrumental albums for mandolin, guitar, fiddle, and banjo. And he's about as good as I've ever heard on any of them. And uh, my mo most recent records, which I produced myself and recorded right here in Asheville, North Carolina, I had some great players on it. Brandon Bush again um, on keys and drums. Uh, Doug Pettibone, who plays with Lucinda Williams, and my good friend also plays with my good friend Tim Flannery and lots of other people. Um, Steve Wickham from the Waterboys on uh, my, not the most recent record, but the one right before it. My niece, Katie. Tiana Nardone has played a couple of beautiful violin parts, so I'm very fortunate. And I just want to give a little acknowledgement to some of the great people that have played on my records in the past. If you're late to the party today, 
just want to mention the fact that all of my digital tip jar information is at the very beginning of the chat window. You may not have that window open currently, but you can open it. And Barbie, unfortunately, is unable to drop the URLs in there, I believe, still. So I put them at the very beginning, and that's the only place you'll be able to find them. And you'll just have to scroll backwards through the chat window. But uh, my PayPal and my Venmo and my Cash App and my Bandcamp site for downloading my music my patreon site is there my website so if you just scroll to the very 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 beginning of the chat window today you'll find that and uh, i just want to encourage you again to throw whatever you can in the tip jar this is my only means of making a living these days my entire concert schedule has been canceled aside from a stray show once in a blue moon here or there and speaking of stray shows once in a blue moon here and there uh, August 7th, if you live anywhere near Asheville, North Carolina, I'll be playing at the Isis Music Hall. My friend Chris Rosser sitting in with me on piano, bass, and guitar. It's an outdoor show on the patio. Masks are mandatory, socially distanced properly, and uh, capacity is very limited, so recommend getting advanced tickets for that. And that is my final show on my calendar through the end of the year. So. We'll see. I'm glad I can still sing for you every week on the live stream. And I hope you'll um, let other people know. I also hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's really important to me. I need to boost my numbers on YouTube. In particular, if you watch some videos, that would really help me. I need to boost my view hours. What you could do is just put my video on in the background, turn off the sound, leave it on overnight, and let one video play into the next video, into the next, into the next. And if hundreds of you do that, I'll reach the required 4,000 view hours in no time at all. And at that point, I'll be able to monetize my channel. And I don't know how much I'd make from it, but every little income stream these days will help keep me afloat. So back to the music. This is called Them and Us. Boat. We turn our 
backs with contempt and with disgust. And every one of them who isn't us, we identify them by the clothes they wear. And we identify them by their skin and hair. about four o'clock but I still have more songs to play so I'm going to keep on going I hope you stick with me if you have to run if you have other commitments that's fine I appreciate you being here today and I'll be here next Sunday and hopefully every Sunday for the foreseeable future <laughs>
down Germans were near They had taken a village A few miles from here There was no place to run There was no place to hide It was no longer safe To be going outside Whispers of horrors What they did to the Jews Sorting into piles The clothing and shoes At the railway station Shaving their heads Then taking the hair To make pillows and beds Lily's hair Had never been cut The curtains were drawn The doors were shut Just moments before The braids would be safe With the people next door Lily's mother Quietly prayed She said, come here, child back on after the war when the soldiers are gone as much now that he'd retrieved all these braids maybe not as much now Lily's braids I'm going to switch instruments here move over to the piano Take a quick second here to turn my camera around. This song here was one that I wrote at a songwriter's retreat in Michigan, the Lamb's Retreat for Songwriters in Harbor Springs, Michigan. You've heard me talk about it lots. Ordinarily, it's a guitar song, but let's see how it goes on piano. I used to fall for girls who smoked and drank and told off color jokes who had that certain kind of look. Just a nose ring was all it took The ones that had that certain spunk Kinda girlish, kinda punk Girls you make excuses for As you lead them out the door Used to like them fancy free The way they would pretend to be They wore all black, they had long hair they acted like they didn't care Full of beans, a great big blur 
I used to fall for girls like her It couldn't possibly all be true Five hundred words when ten would do Used to fall for girls like that Work the mic, play the strat Whose stomachs were completely flat They would complain they were fat Kind of girls I would pursue I made them up, they became true I think I married one or two They made me tea, they wrote haiku I was always drawn to the manic kind Who would say whatever was on their minds Girls like that sunk all my ships Carelessly with their loose lips Yet for one enchanted kiss I'd betray myself for girls like this Wild eye, star tattoo Little crazy were a few girls like those they have their charms red flags and loud alarms I loved it when they were in my arms and I swear my love was true now it takes a little more turn me on than it did before certain things I can't ignore Certain things I do I used to fall For girls that dance In tie-dye shirts And drawstring pants Who bang on drums don't eat meat, walk around in their bare feet. Girls like that wouldn't last, not even one half minute past. The moment that the clock struck twelve, they'd leave me dancing with myself. Opposites at times attract, like chemicals that can react. The girls once appealed to me now don't seem so real to me girls like those they have their charms red flags and loud alarms I loved it when they were in my arms and I swear my love was true well, now it takes a little more to turn me on than it did before Certain things I can't ignore Certain things I do Thank you all so much for tuning in this week. I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm going to do one more song for you. I want to thank Barbie Angel once again for being our digital concierge. And check her out if you want to check out some outstanding poetry. Barbie Angel with two L's. And once again, if you'd care to drop something into the tip jar, all of that information is at the very, very beginning of the chat window. And if for some reason you don't see that chat window today or you can't open it, 12 hours after this uh, stream is over, it will magically reappear. I don't know why that is with YouTube, but the chat window disappears initially until that video is processed and uh, up as an archive. And then for some reason, 12 hours later, the comments and, uh, and the chat is there. So thank you. And uh, 
I want to dedicate this song, especially today, to Betsy Burnham. I know you're going through some really hard stuff, and I know this song means a lot to you. And so this is for you, Betsy. And it's my oldest song. I wrote this in 1981. Here's the piano version. That's my ride that just put over And it sure was good to know you So go ahead and see your calling Go and fill somebody's cup If you see an angel falling Just stop and help them up We are each other's angels And we meet when it is time We keep each other going And we show each other signs down Sometimes you'll get lonely for all these people around You might shiver when the wind blows And you might get blown away You might lose a little color You might lose a little faith We are each other's angels And we meet when it is time We keep each other going And we show each other signs Stay safe. 
Stay well. Hope to see you next week. Thank you.